Welcome to our live training session here with their GT500 Mustang. We're going to learn how to calibrate and tune this vehicle using HP Tuner's VCM software suite. Let's jump to some details about this vehicle. We're going to find that the engine on this GT500 has been completely rebuilt with stronger forged aftermarket internals. The pistons are going to be around 11 to 1 compression, so it's higher than stock compression ratio. We also have an aftermarket upgrade set of cams installed into the engine as well. Now, in addition to this, we have a VMP upgraded supercharger assembly. We also have the typical bolt-on mods. We have a cold air intake, we have long tube headers, and we have a cat-back exhaust. In addition to this, we have an upgraded fuel system. We have ID 1300 CC injectors. We also have a return style fuel system and we have dual in-tank fuel pumps and we're triggering the secondary fuel pump on with a hob switch. So as we get into boost, we're bringing in additional fuel flow rate. We'll be running this engine on E85 and we're pulling for around 20 PSI of boost. We should make a considerable amount of power on this vehicle. Without further wait, let's jump into our live training session so we can get started creating our base calibration file to fire up our engine and begin our training process. Welcome to our live training session here with our GT500 Mustang. Now we just went over all the details for the vehicle. We're gonna be jumping into our VCM editor software here to do a read on our engine control module so we can extract the stock data out of the engine control module and start to modify everything from that point. Let's jump into our VCM editor software here so we can go through how to do the read process. It's extremely simple. Now I am sitting in the vehicle and I have my VCM editor software open on my laptop. You can see that right here on my laptop screen. I have my MPVI2 cable plugged into the OBD2 port plugged into my laptop. So I'm in the condition right now where I can simply go up here to the top under our icon here, a read vehicle icon, and read the file out of the engine control module. Now my ignition key is on the second position on, but the engine is not running. So this is gonna allow me to do the read safely. I don't have to worry about um, having anything interrupt my reading process. Um, and the battery has been charged before I started here, so that's something else to note. When you're doing the reading, it's not really risky to, be, to have, uh, let's say, low battery or turning off the ignition key that'll just interrupt it. But on the flashing process, you absolutely want to have a good battery, something that's been charged, and you also want to make sure that your ignition key um, doesn't go anywhere besides that second on position and the engine not actually running. So what I'm going to do right now is jump up here to the top under our read icon, and I'm going to simply click read vehicle. Our little screen pops up here and we'll just say read and it's going to start our reading process. Now this is going to take about one to two minutes. We can see right here it's giving me some instructions on screen, turn the ignition key off, wait three seconds, turn it back on and then click OK. So let's do that right now. So we'll turn it off here for a few seconds, We'll turn it back on and then we'll click OK here and we can see the process is going to start. But a minute 45 seconds for it to actually complete that read process and um, We'll have to be patient and allow that to actually do the read. Now, once it's read the file out of the engine control module, we're gonna save that as original. So we're gonna literally save it as original in the file name so that we have that as a backup point. Now again, this is a stock engine control module. Nothing's been flashed onto it just yet. We will go through, again, modifying everything from this point. I have licensed the car ahead of time before I actually started to film. I wanted to note that, so we're not gonna have to see the licensing process here. So once we flash it, it won't ask for any credits because it has been taken off the cable already and uh, the licensing process with HP Tuners has been done. But we wanna go in and save this as original in case I won't ever put the car back to stock. In your case, if the car's been tuned already by, let's say, a tuner, you're able to save that as original and you don't have to worry about overwriting that point. If you wanna go and tinker and modify and edit your file, you always have that as a backup. Don't put yourself into a corner where you don't save the file as original and essentially overwrite it and then you'll be in a situation where you have to, um, if, it's an, if you need an original, actual original file, you have to go sort, search the repository from HB Tuners, dig up an original file and then pay another licensing fee to credits and order to license that file for the vehicle and then flash it. So avoid that, having to spend any more money and avoid overwriting a tuned file that you might have. Save it as original and then you'll have that as a backup. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. We can see right now it's showing the read process is almost done. We'll allow that to finish here, a couple seconds. We'll just be patient. And then we're gonna to go to the next step, which is gonna be saving the file. It's pretty straightforward, but we're gonna make sure we are accounting for everything here. So it's prompting me now to save the file. We see our folder here pops up. This is actually our course folder calibration file examples. I'm not gonna go and save this 
to this calibration file example library in our course folder. I'm gonna go up here to documents and actually save this right onto my laptop. I'm gonna go down here into my HB tuners subfolder here. And we're gonna jump in here to our logs and tunes and then I can go up here to new folder and I'm going to be labeling this 2007 GT500 EPA just so I have a reference point for the project name. So what I'm calling this particular vehicle by associate any files, it'll be in this folder to this vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay here. And then we can move into the folder and I'm gonna go ahead and label this original Go ahead and save that so we can see this is the original file it's allowing us to actually edit and go into accessing different points in our in our calibration file here so what I'm gonna do right now before I edit anything before I change anything in the file I'm gonna go up to a file save as it's gonna allow me to save it as a different name that way I don't have to worry about overwriting this original file very very important very basic detail but a lot of people make the mistake of overwriting a tune file or an original file and they have no way to go and get that original file back unless you're essentially trying to backtrack anything you've changed in the file and trying to undo that. That can be a nightmare. So just avoid more headaches. Let's go ahead and save this as a new name. Let's go file and do a save as. And we're going to go and save it in that same folder, so logs and tunes. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.